I have 300 applications that have invested time in. <laughs> so I went there very early. I, I got there like one hour early and I felt embarrassed because Germans, they don't care if you come too early. Don't just be late. Be there on time. Yeah. There's this job I applied for. After four weeks, I didn't get the response. So I emailed the manager. So, you reminded me to say Yeah, then you just send me the rejection <laughs> time. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? John and I, we were talking, just having a normal yeah. chat, and then just getting to the point where we're sharing like really vital information. I thought, okay, hey, it's time to bring this on camera. Uh, a short story. John recently landed his first job, and now he was sharing the experience with me in my place, and I thought, I need to cover this. And right now, we're going to focus on what it feels like to study in Germany after your studies and everything that happens between the end of your studies to when you land your, your first professional <laughs> job. And really, right now, just thinking about John story and then it reminds me of you know my own time back then because the thing is you apply to several jobs and at some point you start doubting yourself you know so John like how does it feel now landing your first professional job in yeah. Germany the thing is uh, because you've gone through a lot of stress applying for those jobs when you finally get that offer <laughs> it's difficult for you to process to believe that you actually yeah, landed yeah, the job yeah, yeah. so the main thing is for you to be mentally strong 100 percent in germany yeah so for me my uh, german language is limited yeah i speak a little bit but not to the capacity of having an engineering conversation in yeah, german, yeah 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 it, it's another level you know yeah. speaking every day like a normal day life on the street is yeah, okay but then yeah, you can at that professional to, level yeah, it's a whole different thing conversations but when yeah. it comes to giving presentations and stuff like that then it becomes difficult yeah yeah so yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. language barriers something very important if you're coming to germany just learn the language 100 percent skip oh because you think you're coming to an uh, english-speaking program you don't need it just start learning as the very moment you start applying just mm. start learning yeah Get but as i mean much as you can now you you have your first professional job but there's no german language proficiency no, no. right so i was lucky enough it's not a requirement for me for the job I yeah have. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's still something I'm still learning because you are going to be working with other Germans and yeah. mm. you have the opportunity to also speak the language so it's mm. better for you to keep learning even though you don't need it for, for your, your job, job. Yeah. Um, let's get to the main point finishing your studies yeah. in Germany and then how was it between the phase of you know the end of your master study program and when you first landed your professional job yeah to be honest it has been a journey you know when <laughs> I came so here in Germany the years you spend in school it's not it's not relevant nobody cares that yeah. much. just try as much as possible to finish properly that's true yes, that's you true might spend three years in school four years in school don't worry don't be discouraged just yeah. keep mm -hmm. keep the, the faith mm -hmm. and make sure you finish with a good grade and okay. have enough of internship experience research experience whatever is going to give you an edge in the market 100% focus yeah. on more on that yeah. don't worry that oh, maybe all your mates are done and mm. working you're not in competition with anybody yeah. by yourself mm -hmm. and so, speaking about yeah. edge maybe that becomes also important now because germany is really opening their doors to the international talent so to speak yes. and there are more and more people coming so maybe a job that you're applying for there are also many other people applying for that job so finishing well and just being prepared that hey there are many other people applying for that same position yeah, as yeah. you are so you have to like up your game yeah, it's a huge competition yeah. so you have to be ready Mm -hmm. So where uh, I finished, I submitted my thesis okay. in December last year. Okay. So everything was successful, and I started applying for jobs since November last year. Officially, before I even finished, I started. Pretty <laughs> really long November last year. Yeah. One, what? So, Twelve no, months later. Yeah, normally, <laughs> normally you should be prepared to, when you start your application process to when you get a positive feedback. Yeah. At least six months, one year. Hundred percent. You'll be very lucky to be in the one percent that will get a job <laughs> just immediately after school it happens it happens of time, but yeah. mm. it's unpredictable you don't know there's a lot of factors to it yeah so yeah, after yeah. i finished my masters so that's something else most people don't yeah, think, think about. about yeah what exactly do you want to do it's a big so, question yes, what do you, you want to do <laughs> yes, you should have that in mind in the moment you start so that you don't waste your time applying for positions that you don't need or you don't want 100 percent so i'm make sure I, like you know i can exactly. relate to yes. this just focus I on can what relate you to want this. to do yeah it doesn't matter how stupid it sounds yeah or how unattainable it is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. once you focus on it 
mm -hmm. to happen it's yeah. just gonna take more time yeah i think just to touch on that i can relate so very much to that because i think in my case back in 2017 i would say i i wouldn't say waste but i was like on a different path for yeah. the first five months yeah. why because i was applying for research technician yeah. labor whatever but i i'm someone who likes to talk who likes uh -huh. to communicate yeah i finally ended up with a sales position yeah, you have to find but strength it only started happening when i changed the focus yes. you know i was applying for some other job because i felt okay i studied this and yeah. this is what i should do yeah. but as soon as i changed to something which i was more passionate about yes. I was getting more responses because it shows in your application. Hundred percent. It shows. Hundred percent. Like uh, I talked to you, I think in February when my application was, I was sending lots of applications. Yeah. I can tell you guys, I've sent. So how many did you send in total? I, give us a number. I'll be lying if I can give a number. Okay, but what's the minimum like, you, you're give, sure you I, use? Um, I have three hundred applications that have invested time in <laughs> 300 that doesn't i'm not counting the ones you just send cvs yeah, yeah, yeah. the ones you just automatically you so 300 you sat prepared yes, and individual customized yes, everything everything cover letter cv everything one two three four three hundred three hundred um, so yeah. out of that 300 i i was getting like two uh, interviews every month Okay. So it was some something of a positive for me. January I had two interview, one a PhD position, mm -hmm. another one a job or uh, a job in uh, research. Yeah. So each time you build uh, confidence and then you are uh, streamlining your focus on what you actually love to do because mm -hmm. doing those interviews there are some questions that been asked that you are saying that this is not something I really want. Yeah, 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 true. But you have to be frank with yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to be honest with yourself and I said this is something I don't want to do. Yeah. So right from March I knew I don't want to do a PhD right now. It's not I, I'm not I'm not seeing that picture in my own plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it made it difficult for me to uh, secure those positions because yeah you was not give your yes all. I was not giving I be, yeah. immediately after the um, interview process I can tell this is not coming from me I just yeah. know yeah but you have this uh, you are convincing yourself that you might get it so you're just yeah, waiting well, but, but and I feel like um if you're doing that to yourself I think you're like settling for less yes you no know? it's like you don't know which direction you're going you just want to land a job and you feel like hey the only way you can yeah, survive yeah, is yeah whatever that you job, get you whatever get. you get but it's, it shouldn't be that way I feel like this is what a lot of international students face yeah. a lot of international students you study abroad and then you're concerned about your residence permit how long do you have how much money do you have your upkeep you're, you're struggling between you paying your bills yeah. whatever stupid job you're currently doing yeah. and then you just like you want to land any job but if you're watching this video I think the bottom line is especially for those who are not at that stage yet be prepared already for that stage like know exactly what you yeah, want if you're applying for school right now this is what you should be thinking about See, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I it did not, not until that time. I did not you know? figure, I did not think about, I was just worried about getting my application right and yeah. getting the, getting visa. Just that was my priority. to extend your visa. Yes, but if you are thinking ahead of time, this is what I need to have a job. Make sure you get an internship, make mm -hmm, sure you get mm -hmm. this, make sure. You should know all that before you even apply. Yeah, exactly. You should know when you should be getting an internship, what time of your semester you should be doing all that. But most times we are so stressed about school mm -hmm. that you put that in the back of your mind until yeah. I'll have time to do it later. But mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. it comes, it comes very sudden and then yeah. you're stuck, stuck. Mm -hmm. And again, make sure you have uh, positive uh, people around you. 100%. That's what I took away from my process having people like you people like Williams and some of my friends mm -hmm. they're always giving me that positive attitude you get it don't worry just it's difficult for you to understand Explain what you're saying say, but okay even for me back you, then I yeah, couldn't tell you how, yeah but, but I because just, I trusted you yeah I understood what you were saying That's so it made happened. it it made it easy for me to keep applying yeah I did not yeah. just give up and say oh, I'm tired yeah, yeah because I understood if you can tell me this I know you have gone through it definitely 100%. it's gonna come 100%. it's not gonna come the way I think but 
<laughs> just keep trying you'll get something you know when i got my first i landed my first official job i changed the game for myself so to speak mm -hmm. in the sense that i was applying to positions that i genuinely was not interested in but i thought i just wanted to have a job yeah i spoke with a friend then and he told me mike you have to change your perspective apply to things that you have the experience in and you're passionate about yeah. i changed it completely and when i started applying to those positions i could write my story in a much better way in yeah. a different way i could tell the company what i am looking for in their company it changed it for me yeah. my first job interview it was not an interview it was more like a consultation yeah i was calm i went through we spoke from the office we went to the labs we were looking the at one stuff is secured right yeah yeah my first job 2018 yeah. and i was not tensed yeah you know i was not like tensed. like i was just telling you <laughs> yes. now about my process yeah other interviews of the zoom interview i did more than 20 interviews bro yeah at least that was what was even giving me the uh, motivation to keep going yeah, because it's a good step when because you i was getting interviews. interviews yeah when i was applying for tc's position and uh, internship i was not even getting a call back yeah so mm -hmm. now it's a different thing that at least people are recognizing okay you have a talent you have something to offer 100%. so they are even offering you the process to come and interview yeah then i realized most of those interviews i thought i was prepared but it wasn't things i loved I just want to get a job so interviewers can see through that they can see someone that, that yeah, is yeah. genuine and is open and is honest to get that position 100%, they can see through it 100%. so when i got this the job i just uh, secured when i went for the interview it was almost two hours of conversations two hours is a lot it's a lot but, but it you, you went feel it yeah it went by so it fast i only realized it was two hours because of my train Yep, you I realized. Me. Oh my God, we did two hours. Yeah, but it went so smooth. Mm -hmm. Everything was cordial, friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, not asking you to do any technical. Or what you just want yeah. to know your personality. So, walk us through the process from when you applied, when they contacted you, until everything. How yeah. did it go? So I sent the application. I saw it on Stepstone. I sent the application. Just my CV and my cover letter I sent. Okay. And then I think a week later, I got an email to take an online test. Mm -hmm. After the online test, I said, okay, when you're done, we are going to have a call. Okay. So, so dates. So they called me a week after that. The call was 15 minutes, but it wasn't it's like an call. interview. Okay. Just a phone call. Just telling me about the position, what they are looking for, mm -hmm. asking me what I'm looking to get. So since it was a job that I actually searched for, yeah, I didn't just see it randomly and just apply. It's something that I was looking for. The, it's looking in the for field it. I was interested in. Okay. So it showed in my cover letter. I, I believe that's why they caught the manager's eye. Okay. Okay. So he sent me the appointment for the call. After the call, the call went very well. I said, okay, we are having call with other people, but if you are selected, we will invite you to the offices to see our equipment and see how she meet the family and mm -hmm. stuff, and mm -hmm. then we'll go from there. Yeah. So I waited, I uh, think, two more weeks, and then he sent me the appointment to come to the office. Mm -hmm. Paid for and everything. So I went nice. down to Frankfurt. Frankfurt. From Aachen to Frankfurt. <laughs> I went down there. I left my home, I think, 3 a.m. in the morning. Because you had to catch the train. Yeah, because the, the appointment was at 9, and Frankfurt is like four hours by train from, yeah. from my house. So I went there very early. I, I got there like one hour early, and I felt embarrassed because Germans, they don't care. Early. Yeah, they don't care if you come too early don't just be late be there on time yeah so i couldn't even uh, go into the offices yeah, but it was yeah. so cold that day that i didn't have any option i just went in and i sat down at the reception thank god everybody was so nice to me they were just offering me <laughs> just, just sit down that was not the case for me yeah <laughs> so sit down uh, I explained to them why I'm, I'm early I'm mm. like my train came early so I don't have anywhere else to yeah. sit down and the weather is not that nice they said no problem we'll see if we can do it earlier but, so I just sat there for two hours I think then we started the interview so normal interview questions and it was conducted in English English yeah we didn't okay. have throughout the whole process there was no German and they didn't ask you what's your German language no. like and all that okay. because that's something else I realized during my application Okay. I apply for jobs that I like in my language that I know I'm comfortable with. 100%. It's better for them to reject my application because I can't speak German yeah. than to sh pretend I can speak German and then during the interview, not able I'm to. not able to speak the yeah. language correctly. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I witnessed that one of my interviews. 
<laughs> you told them you yeah, I told German. them my my CV was in German. My <laughs> cover letter was oh rightly placed in German. <laughs> but I actually told them before the interview that I would like to have the interview in English. Mm. Right? That's my most comfortable language of communication. But that's 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 actually that's that's good. And yes, I I also encourage that. So you know why? Because the point is. It makes your application um, easily acceptable. Yes. But don't forget to mention, mention also that, in that application yes. that hey, this is the language that you're comfortable. Yes, yes. You're learning the language German or whatever language. Yeah. But you would prefer that it's done in this yes, language. Yeah. So we did the interview in English, and then at the end of the interview, they wanted to test my German skills. Yeah. And then it wasn't scaling. <laughs> <laughs> it was not matching no, up. No, it wasn't matching up at all. <laughs> because I could understand them perfectly, but to speak it is difficult for me because yeah. I don't have time to practice my German as much as I would like. Yeah, yeah. So immediately I just knew these people are not going to call me. 100%, yeah. yeah. Well, I was still yeah. hoping, but this interview was different because mm -hmm. right from the first email it was in English. Although we talked about the language, but the manager said it's no problem. We are international company. It's good if you can speak it, but it's not required for the job. So the whole interview was done in English, 100%. Okay. So we did the interview and then went downstairs did another interview okay to showed you the machine asked you technical questions unknown to me i didn't know we were continuing the interview downstairs you thought i oh, thought we are done they around. just want to impress me show me show, how beautiful show what they have but i was already hooked from the first moment i went to the office they are so nice yeah, yeah exactly so, so you, friendly you at home. yes you are chilled everybody there were so friendly so i already yeah. made up my mind after that first interview i went to the office i stopped applying to jobs that's good that's a good feeling yeah because i just felt this as if i was supposed to be there everybody was so nice giving me refreshment don't worry sit down complimenting me on that's, my looks so yeah. it was i was looking at it as if i'm part of them already, already. at least yeah. in my mind so when we went downstairs i was surprised the guy was asking me technical questions about yeah i thought we're done with this yeah bro. i'm asking me this technical I was, questions it didn't even occur to me like 10 minutes into the team show me show me around the offices they realized no this can't be random questions he's asking yes yeah, too part because of it's interview. too technical the way he's asking what does this do what do you think the operation of this oh so it just clicked in my head so i started answering before you feel too relaxed yeah like, I got the job, so yeah relax. so i didn't feel like oh yeah you can tell me if i don't know at least i was attempting to answer yeah mm -hmm. so that one went for 30 minutes no way and then we went upstairs and then he had to uh, report to his managers that was when i 100 percent knew <laughs> right. this was I'm an interview interviewed because he left me in the lobby and went to, into the office and then yeah, yeah told the give them the report of report. my performance downstairs 100 yeah, but thank god i felt i didn't leave anything on the table that day That's i good. gave my best i it was honest 100 percent. didn't hide anything yeah i didn't try to pretend i knew about I was 100% honest and I believe you they could see that also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, I was not faking anything. I was telling them exactly yeah, what I want and real. what yes and what uh, they were telling me I believed it was also the truth. Yeah, yeah. So after that when I was going I asked them okay what's the next step? They said um, they will have to uh, get approval from their offices and if everything goes well they're going to call me back. So Fair enough. I was happy and I left. So as I said I didn't apply for I was even planning on stop giving it a rest because yeah. I was applying from no November, J December, January, February, March, April, till August. I was applying for jobs, Straight getting up. rejection, rejection every morning, nine o'clock. That's their time for that's rejection. Time for rejection. Yeah. Is 9 Once I get that nine a.m. email, I just know it's just I don't even. It gets to the point. You don't even bother opening. Yeah, email I don't bother because, because I like, know. Oh, yeah, I know what they're saying. Yeah, I know because there's the way a positive email comes is different from how the it's, dif it's different. You, it's not. You, you can't even. You can differentiate it clearly. So I was just fed up of the application. So I wanted my personal for my mental health and everything. I wanted to pause for one month. Pause, regroup, get all the whole rejection of the ones I've, I've forgotten that I've applied, <laughs> clear everything, and then start afresh in October and November. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then this process started being positive, more yeah. positive every day. Mm -hmm. So I was just randomly doing my other job when I got a call that okay, they have sent my credentials to their head office and they would like to have another interview with me it's moving forward <laughs> so that was the first time i became nervous yeah throughout like, this whole process i was so calm chilled. was chill because the job fits me perfectly i thought 
Okay. So this was the first time I was actually thinking, oh, I might get this job. Bro, I'm, I'm actually yes, this job. Yes, it's really you possible. Know, what am I going I to might do get when this. I get this job? I might get this. <laughs> Not even what am I going to do to get the job. What will I do to mess things up? Or rather, what if when I get this job, so what next? I wasn't even, even <laughs> thinking up to that level. I was thinking, this, I can mess it up now. Yeah, but I mean, how could you? Ah. Yeah. So now I was just worried about not messing it up because okay. now I have to meet a new group of people. On and you, Zoom. you don't, you have no idea what they would ask. I you. had no idea. Yeah. Because it was a different expertise entirely. So the day came for the interview, I was so nervous. And then the interview pattern was different. Going through my CV one after the other, okay. verifying everything on my CV, asking me from bottom as random that. Okay. So it put me off a little bit. Okay. But thank God I wrote the CV myself, so I know exactly what on me. Write your CV yourself. Yeah. Right, your CV and don't lie, don't exaggerate, yeah. don't put things that you don't know anything yeah, about. Yeah. So the manager was randomly asking me questions from my CV. So I had to explain everything. Why are you doing this then? Why are you doing it now? What brought you to Germany? Why do you have uh, English as your official language? Is Nigerian speaking, English speaking country? Things like that. So I was just... It's on your CV, yeah, you can defend it. So I was just put off by that. But I was trying my best. You know when you are performing good, you can you can tell. 100%. So I wasn't my best that day. I can tell I wasn't my best because I wasn't prepared for all those small small question i was prepared for big question big questions they were asking me uh, why did you stop doing sales and now you are engineering why did you so i was just all over the place yeah, but i tried 100%. to keep everything to the job description right yeah so whatever mm -hmm. question you are asked try as much as possible to relate it to the position yeah bring it back and yeah just bring them back don't go too far everything comes back to that, yeah. that point yeah. and again what i think i saved myself from that interview is during the question time where they ask you do you have any question for us okay so i tried to put them in the spot ask them questions yes. about their company not question that they will easily answer and yeah then, so I wanted to put them in the spot for number one, make them talk more mm -hmm. because they are going to remember this guy made us talk. Mm -hmm. Number two, make them uh, realize that I know a little bit about the company, what they are doing. Yeah. So I just asked a simple question. I asked the guy, I know you guys are number one in this field. And what do you guys do? to keep being number one against your competitors like 100%. this and this company yeah 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 because so you I know mentioned, those companies and I mentioned like the two people. yeah I mentioned two companies that I knew was not their competition I did it purposefully okay they are competitors but the company I'm working for now has more than half of the market share so what anybody coming there is not their competitor at all yeah yeah so I was listing like even smaller company that had 5% 10% as their mm -hmm. competitor so mm -hmm. things like that makes managers angry and start thinking yeah they know. want to, why are you insulting our company comparing us to this small company so he started explaining too much i was just there yeah i was just there smiling my <laughs> I was just there, at least he's talking, I'm not the one. Yeah, but you know, the thing is, maybe the way you put the question, it could be like, he never saw that coming. Yeah, that's like what I'm saying. Him something yes, new. he was like he saying, oh, something. so you know the company. He, I told me, oh, you know this company, right? The one I mentioned. Yeah. I say, yeah, I just did some research. and I Don't be surprised. He was also thinking that maybe you applied to that company. I, and that I, company I don't know. could be offering you something. Yeah, I don't know. And they just want to make you I feel like know. they are better than yeah, that I company. Didn't, I didn't even think that far. I just, could be. I just wanted them wanted him since i was on the spot i just yeah, wanted to put him on the, the spot yeah too. i just wanted to be out of it so that somebody can talk yeah because i was the only one talking 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 they were just ask, asking me questions but now he had to explain to me why they're one why they're better than this company like that like that and then he's selling their company yes so that you would yes, say yes to them yes so we had that 10 minutes of Kofu. Mm. So that was how it ended. But the problem, I was so scared that the the people that invited me for the call, the German office, they were not talking anything. They were just sitting there. They left you for the Korean yes, guys. They were just <laughs> sitting there like my boss. He was just there looking. And he's like the nicest person I have met. Yeah. Like from the first call we made, he was so nice to me. Like you know how somebody is genuinely nice, a nice person. Yeah. But that day he was just looking at this. He didn't say anything throughout the whole interview. And it was the video call. Yeah. Then I was, that was, was even making me more nervous mm. 
because he wasn't contributing, even backing me or saying anything if we want this person or not. Nothing. He left it to the lions. Yeah. So <laughs> after that, I now started feeling, oh, this is another round of rejection again. Because mm. I know that feeling of I didn't perform my best. Mm. So one week went by, two weeks went by. I, I didn't even have the mind to even remind them. Because there's this job I applied for. After four weeks, I didn't get the response. So I emailed the manager. So I to say, yeah, then you just send me the rejection letter. <laughs> <laughs> Please, so, be like, so, guys, I'm not receiving. Yeah, send it to me. Send it to so me. So I didn't want to <laughs> do it this time around. So I was just being patient. I was waiting. <laughs> I waited, 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 waited. Uh, till out of the blue, Friday morning, the other lady we did the interview to. I think she's like the administrative part of the company. Okay. I think she's responsible for hiring and everything. So she was there during my interview, the in-person interview. So she just called me in the morning and said, "How are you doing?" I said, I'm "Fine." So nervous <laughs> because she's she's always calling. She doesn't send email. Okay. She yeah, calls. she just calls yeah. directly. So we spoke pleasantly for a few minutes, and she was explaining to me that she had to fight for the decision. Okay. I was not even hearing that one again. I was just. I just want the I result. Tell to, me the result, bro. Say that she could tell that I wanted to work with them because of how the staff talked about me, how I explained to them how I enjoyed their hospitality. Mm-hmm. So they had to convince the head office. For okay. That that's why it's taking so long, but I she's see. happy to tell me that it's they are getting approval to offer me the job if I'm still interested. <laughs> so of course, I'm interested. So okay, I'm gonna send uh, the HR, whatever. I was not even hearing. I was just I waiting. I was just waiting to end the call and shout. <laughs> You know, when, when it happens, you start asking yourself, did I really get this? Yeah, job? like, so this, I, this, this, yeah. This, is this it? Is this I'm the yes? Wa- I, I was waiting for the contract. How long did you wait for the contract again? Uh, one week. One week. It was supposed to come the next day, but I couldn't wait, man. <laughs> I was just waiting, 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 waiting. But I, I knew since they have already told me. But, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you can yeah. never tell. You, just, you can't tell, really. I mean, I've, I I've, I've had friends that uh, yo, they Even got the now, job, they moved. I have, I have to wait after six months months before I can celebrate. Yeah, but I mean for sure I can already tell you that you've gone this far and everything to go through. I mean it, it does happen but it's very rare that during the probation yeah. period that yeah. you know, they let go. But Most, um, Mostly maybe they found their first choice. It happens that way. I mean if they hire multiple people for the same position yeah, then yeah. this could happen. Yeah, yeah. You know? But anyways guys, I think for me that the bottom line really is that feeling that you get at some point that could you ever actually land yeah, a job? don't quit. You begin to doubt yourself. Not, like if you quit then you've lost if you quit then you've lost yeah then you keep just keep going keep going one year two years just keep going it doesn't matter how long it takes especially here in germany people don't care so much about your years of not being employed like throughout my interview process the only time i was asked why have i not been working is the interview i did in netherlands okay in germany they don't care so much about your gap they just want to know if you are capable of doing what they want Mm -hmm. like from my experience i don't know about other people Mm -hmm. i can't speak for other people but from all my experience in my interview nobody have asked me oh, uh, doing why this? did it take you three years to finish your masters or why are you doing it in January nobody asks you that yeah, they just I want to see if you can do the job mm. that's what they care about mm. if you have the grades you have the experience can you perform then they are fine yeah, yeah. But in yeah. other countries, they might be asking you, oh, why haven't you finished? Or oh, what have you been doing since January? I wasn't asked that. Because the job I was doing since uh, 2020, mm-hmm. it's not something I can put in my CV. I work as a assistant in uh, Zara. That's not like my professional job. Yeah, profession. So I can't just put that. It becomes so scattered. Okay, yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. engineering, you're doing this. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that I can't put in my CV for some kind of job. So yeah. you have that gap space of, you not having any professional job that's right yeah. so just school so most people might think okay that would be a disadvantage for me no just get an internship three months internship even one month internship whatever you can get yeah yeah and mm-hmm. it's very important to advise anybody coming from nigeria or africa we are already on a disadvantage for not having good internship experience it's not common it's practical work experience yeah highest you can do is like uh, it three or months, yeah, six months. which is not it's nothing you're yeah. not getting any experience out of it 
most cases. But if you can get as much, uh, once you come to Germany, try to apply for internships. Mm -hmm. It's not too early. And yeah, and find a way to manage it with your studies. Yes. Because the thing with internship is it's, it gives you like first-hand practical experience mm -hmm. on the field, on the job. And if you're able to manage it with your study, it would be like the best case. Yeah. So it's don't wait until whenever. Yeah, you whenever you that. come to school, just talk to your lecturers, professors, if they have heavy spaces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can work in school. It's better for you than looking for a normal household job to do. Yeah, 100%. Because I, but I understand people need money, but you should know what you are here for. Yeah. Are you here just to get money? How much money are you going to get at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. Heavy jobs are going to give you a little bit less money, but you are getting more experience. At the, yeah. When you finish, you are going to have more edge than people that have been making money. Straight to the top. Straight to the top. Once you apply, you, like there was something I saw when I went for my interview. You could see they highlighted whatever the interest they were looking for. Yeah, straight up. And so you don't know. It. I was just lucky enough to glance at. Mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. She didn't cover it, so I saw. What caught the attention? Yes. Yeah. So you don't know. Just put everything you do in your in your your CV. You don't know what they are looking for. Yeah. The job description might be saying something else, but what they are actually looking for is different so mm -hmm. whatever you you are be honest with yourself put it there don't lie you don't have to yeah. you might not get all the jobs that you want but you get something no you get i mean the thing is at the end of the day you find what you get what is yours yes you know you just get be honest yours. with yourself yeah don't rush at things and try to copy your friend's cv to make it look good yeah, cause you have because to it's to gonna it show in up in the, in the interview you yeah. cannot explain it unless you do the job how can you explain it 100%, 100%. you can't google how to be a sales manager you cannot google it you can they're google gonna say it but what did you do yeah they're gonna ask you during the interview what did you do for this company to make it successful you now you have <laughs> yeah, they, they'll just know you're lying i've done interview for apartments interview you can see people lying straight to their teeth you can see it. it's easy to catch once you're saying something generic it's easy to catch like i have never gone to check interview question and answer I, I don't know how to do that practically speaking it's not necessary it's not it's not you know, necessary i think what people have to understand is getting a job is like you're coming to solve a problem i cannot yeah. overemphasize that no one is hiring you because they like you no, no one is hiring because, because you are you handsome look, you look uh, handsome you're beautiful no one is hiring you because you are, you are to white solve or black. Problem. Every employer is hiring you because they have a problem. And they are hoping that you will solve that problem. Yeah. So that's the first and foremost thing. So it doesn't matter how you will solve that problem. But the idea is when you speak with them, mm -hmm. they will they tell can, you the problem. Yeah, they can and then see. they expect that from your education, your experience, yeah. and the story you're telling them yeah. right there, that this problem is solvable. Yeah, you can handle Best case it. scenario will be that you have solved the similar problem. Yeah. If not, they can still train you to it, solve it. They can train you to solve it. They just but need to know is, you have the capacity to. Are do you it. are you teachable? Are you learnable? Yeah, do yeah. you have the passion for yeah, it? Yeah, you know? exactly. And you're not just saying yes, yes, yes because you want to land the job. Yeah, no. because this interview I did, they sent me like a behavioral test. I did for real. Yeah, yeah. The, before we even had the phone call, so okay. they can tell my personality even before coming there. That was deep. I haven't heard that before. Yeah, they sent me like it's not something that's uh, technical you just going to ask you a question to how mm -hmm. you behave mm -hmm. so it's going to give you a ranking and you're going to see your strength and your weaknesses okay no matter how you answer it you're going you're not you can't lie if you lie you're doing yourself a disservice yeah. so that's the first thing i grabbed from the company the moment they sent me that uh, analysis it was just i think 10 questions or something just mm -hmm. to answer if your manager does this what's your response or what just want to see so the question goes up goes down so it's difficult for you to lie in about mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. so you just have to pick what you are feeling in that moment yeah yeah because it comes very far you're thinking it's not like you are solving any puzzle or nothing mm -hmm. they're asking you questions then you answer what you think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is the right answer yeah so mm -hmm. from there there's no wrong answer Whatever you answer is going to give you a profile of how your personality yeah, is. Understand. So they can tell if you are strong-headed or if you are a helpful person. So it depends on who they are looking for. They are looking for an alpha, then they'll go with somebody that has the alpha personality. They are looking yeah. for someone that they can that is willing to help other people. Mm -hmm. Then they'll give you that opportunity. Yeah, you know, it's just to be yourself. Yeah, really? just be yourself. Just be yourself. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, it will happen at its own time. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy because at some point, I just couldn't explain to you how it yeah, happened. But I, I could only tell you that it will happen it's, soon. It's just frustrating <laughs> that you put so much time and effort. People yeah. will tell you, oh, this is the formula. 
make sure after the interview send appreciation stuff you don't need all that, that. <laughs> just be yourself oh they'll yeah. tell you oh, don't apply to this kind of job without a cover letter this first time i sent i didn't get a cover letter i didn't sub- apply with a cover letter i just sent my cv, CV and my msc result mm-hmm. certificate that's the only thing i sent that was what they required yes okay so immediately he sent me that uh behavioral test then i wrote an elaborate cover, cover letter. letter when i finished the test i submitted the test with the cover letter to him you know at the end of the day it's like you have to come up come up with your own formula yes yeah, so there's no really? formula there's to no it form- you just you have to do solve it, the, be solve yourself, it for yourself yeah. and yeah. I, I, i'm not saying that's why i was selected yeah but this no. is, i mean you went with the flow yeah i just went with it yeah you went with the flow yeah. because it's like you can't just be prepared for everything yeah. you know it's because like it there's, there's another you. test they asked me one question there they were asking me how did you find a job right because the position is not a very popular field it's a new field that's not that popular so they're asking me how did mm-hmm. you even find it to begin with so i explained to them i actually was looking for something in this field yeah. not exactly what this job description mm-hmm. is but mm-hmm. i was looking for something in this field so when i saw it i knew okay this is something i did see not not exactly the same this is something i have a little bit of uh, knowledge in mm-hmm. i've done the research mm-hmm. on something like this yeah i believe this is something i would like to do even the phd i was applying for is similar field okay. so i already have that passion for that job mm-hmm. so it wasn't just random application okay i thought i i was searching for something in that field and mm-hmm. i found it and it was perfect i think because it combined uh, customer relation technical everything my experience from Nigeria so yeah. I just cross my hand and send the application without even because mm-hmm. you can't even count the application I've sent some I've not some I can't even remember <laughs> hey, you know the, the I will apply for two jobs the same job twice <laughs> <laughs> after I rejected me I apply I forgot I apply. <laughs> but I think guys um, the message here right now is you cannot be over prepared no, and just cannot. believe in yourself believe in yourself keep the faith and be honest be honest and I think above all surround yourself with, with po- positive people like yeah. People that are there that you that you hope to be, people yeah, that have yeah. had an experience, you, you need them. Around people that you you know care about you, know? you not yeah. just random people that are yeah. faking it. People yeah, that exactly. care. I'm lucky I have a lot of them. 100%. You, Williams, Ebube, Ebuka, yes, Yusuf. I mean, Williams always tells me how much I motivated him, but yeah. right now I I don't remember it, you know, because I was just yeah, having a normal conversation yeah, with Williams. Yeah, I'd be no, like, no, no, hey, he, come on, it's gonna be fine. He's always you know? there to at least give me that uh, encouragement. There's nothing like. Uh, oh, Oh, yeah my friend send my application to you it doesn't work mm, that doesn't way it doesn't work that way it doesn't work you have to find it yourself you just you have to find the it same yourself. thing about the school applications yeah. that i was explaining you to have you. to find it yourself it's like i cannot be as motivated to come to europe like you if you don't want it for yourself there's nothing i can it's tell you that it's going to work yeah, yeah. i cannot give I you give you all the information yeah, tell you all the stuff send you all the work. links if you don't wake up in the morning and dream about going let's say jack Byron or Moving going abroad. abroad if you don't wake up in the morning and dream about it or even walking the street and be dreaming about it you're not ready ask anybody they might not understand they are dreaming about it but anybody that made it through application visa interview and here in jam they have visualized it themselves they are dreamt about it the same thing about this job i've always known this is the kind of job i want i don't know how or where is it or how to search for it but i've been manifesting it in my mind it's going to come you don't know from where but it's going to come so if you don't wake up in the morning and focus your energy on how you're going to travel it's not gonna work for you it's that easy you might apply for 10 applications but if you don't put your mind to it it's not gonna work because those things can show in your application then anybody reading it can tell this person is it comes from within yeah from this, inside they can if from even though you copy out. your children or purpose you, you have to copy the right thing for it to work if you don't if you just copy and paste you copy the right thing and it also reflects who yeah, you are yeah because you're not you going want. to no because you're not going to copy what you don't like you read it first before you copy it yeah. you have to read it first and then you see oh this is giving you some kind of feeling that you enjoy then you yeah, put it in your you own. have to resonate with it yeah so it shows at the end of the day through your applications that this person is serious about school the same thing with visa i don't know my visa process was also as seamless as i didn't prepare for anything i just knew okay these are the questions that i'm going to ask 
but since I knew this is what I wanted, there's no question you can ask me that I cannot answer. You know, it's it's you. It's what I want. You want it, yes, you did it, I did it. You did it. I did the work. Involved in the process. Yes, I did the, the groundwork myself. So yeah. the, what are you going to ask me that I don't know? You cannot throw me off. You can't throw me off unless you know, the only times I've been thrown off is when I lie in my stuff. And it shows. I think, guys, the bottom line is you have to do it yourself. It has to yeah. be you. No one can do it for you. Yeah. You'll get support, people will help you, but then there's something I learned in Germany. You will get all the help you need as long as you're yeah. ready to do the work. Yes. You do the work, people will help you get there where you want to be. Nobody will do the work yeah. for you. Get on settling, make the connections. People are ready to help. You just have to ask. Yeah. Forget about how much you're spending. It's not money money cannot even wait to whatever you're gonna get. The value of what you're getting. You it's not money. about the money. At the end of the day it's you're just paying for time for people that are going to invest in giving you this information. Mm -hmm. Not because they need your money no because they are leaving what they are doing just to help you 100 percent. so like me personally i don't even have the time mm -hmm. unless you're directly linked to my settling then i can make out time for you mm -hmm. maybe saturdays but if you want 24 hours care and attention you have to just pay for it <laughs> and then it's we worth, talking. because it what it, it's gonna worth it at the end of the yeah. day okay guys well that was john i think it's a unique experience and everyone would also have their own share of it so yeah you'll um, be telling your testimony soon yeah and i don't I, give I, up. I hope to bring you here also yeah don't give up just show. keep just keep trying yes 100 percent. well it only ends again. yeah it ends when you give up